The phenomenon of death and what happens when we die has captivated the attention of humanity in every civilization since the beginning of time. Death occurs after any illness or accident becomes so severe that it causes a person's heart to stop beating, they stop breathing, and their brain stops functioning. Most people don't realize, but death is actually synonymous with cardiac arrest, otherwise known as the heart stopping. Although the way we define the signs of death has not changed, the knowledge of what occurs to the body and mind after a person dies has gone through a major evolu evolution in recent years, such that scientists are now able to explore the question of what happens after we die. So how did we get here? Attempts had been made for thousands of years to find ways to reverse death and explore what happens to the body after. One of these methods included warming the body, since warmth was associated with life as cold was with death. Other early techniques used whipping to stimulate life and fireplace bellows to pump air into the lungs, which emulates an early version of modern ventilators. These endeavors were largely ineffective because they had yet to discover that restarting the heart is the most important aspect of restoring life to people who had died. In 1960, when mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing techniques and chest compressions were combined to pump the heart back to life, the discovery of cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, was able to revive people who would have otherwise died and it revolutionized the field of medicine. Because of this, today many millions of people have been brought back to life after crossing the threshold of death. 60 years have passed since the discovery of CPR, and most scientists still had thought that cells deprived of oxygen would die within 10 to 15 minutes after death occurred. But with recent advancements in research and technology, they are coming to understand that after a person dies, the cells in the body and brain go through a slow biological process of death over the course of hours and even days rather than dying immediately. This introduces a new gray area that represents the time after a person has crossed the threshold of death, but before their cells have reached a point of irreversible damage. During this phase, revival could potentially be possible because of the reversible nature of the cells. Even though this sounds completely counterintuitive, it is true. Almost two decades ago, scientists discovered that they could take pieces from the brains of people who had died up to 21 hours previously and grow brain stem cells in the laboratory for research. This is in hopes to treat brain diseases like Parkinson's and dementia in the future. Now, growing brain cells in the laboratory is one thing, but getting the whole brain to work again after death is another. This sounds completely like science fiction, but in 2019, it became science fact. Yale University conducted a study in which they took 32 brains from pigs that had been killed for their meat. Instead of discarding these brains, the team placed them into special chambers and fitted each membrane with a catheter four hours after the pigs had died. They then began pumping a blood-like solution into the brains to mimic blood flow and deliver nutrients and oxygen to the brain cells. Amazingly, after six to 10 hours, these brains started to show signs of life again. For the first time in history, humans had been able to get the brain to work again after many hours of death, which just reinstated the growing understanding that brain cells don't die immediately after death then why aren't more people being brought back to life after they die? Well, there may be many reasons for this. Firstly, the expert medical knowledge and resources needed may not always be available. In addition, the treatments needed to remedy a disease or accident that caused death may not have been discovered yet. So even if someone is brought back, unless the root of the issue can be treated, they will die again. With disparities in skills and knowledge in medical care across the globe, patients declared dead in one hospital or location could have potentially been brought back in another with the right resources. However, regardless of life-supporting elements, in every single human body, 
All cells, including brain cells, will eventually reach a point of damage that is irreversible. And at that point, a person can never be brought back again, whether today, tomorrow, or in a thousand years. The discovery of this gray area after death could change the way that society views and practices medicine while also advancing the technology that is used to preserve the cells, all of which could potentially save more lives. Incredibly, for the first time ever, these findings are allowing scientists to also study what happens to our consciousness when we die through the lens of science. We all thought that the phenomenon of death was cut and dry, but now we understand that the mystery of death is telling us much more about life itself.